Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 5 of my season 2 hardcore survival let's play. So in the last episode, episode 4, go back and check it out if you want to, but we built this road, which we're going to eventually connect to a, a bunch of other roads throughout the world. And uh, yeah, we're going to actually be doing something somewhat unique, I think, in this episode. We're going to be building a squid farm. Now, you may be asking, why are we building a squid farm? That's the reason. You see that road? We're going to be building a lot of roads, meaning we need a lot of black dye. And the only way to get black dye is either through wither roses or ink sacks. And we're going to go the ink sack method. So I've marked out an area of where I want to build this squid farm. You actually need to build it in an area where a river would normally be, but it's all like dried up or something. So that area for me is just right over here. So let me go and travel to the location again. It's just like right over there. So let me walk it. All right, so as you can see, the river is right here. And like, you know, it, it, it's there and then it's not, right? Like it's all dried up here, but it's technically still the river biome. And now this is something that we're gonna have to fill in. So I probably should have brought a little bit more dirt with us. Um, and I probably should have also brought a bed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back and grab those things now because this is gonna be quite a large project and I'd really rather not have to run back and forth a bunch. We're gonna grab some dirt and then we're also gonna grab a bed. Alrighty, I grabbed a bed and I grabbed a bunch of dirt, so we should be in a pretty good position now. Uh, so I'm going to fill in all of these little areas of the river that there are, but there's only a few, right? And uh, once that's done, squid are going to start spawning in mass quantities in this little area we're going to dig. So it's through like level 64 uh, to like 42 or something that you build the farm, and that's where they spawn at. All right, now that is filled in. Now, I've already marked out the center of this riverbed. Um, I'm just kind of traveling along this to see if there's any other little spots of water that I uh, did not already fill in. Um, but yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. This is the center, so this is where we're going to be building the actual uh, spawner itself. Now, it's not probably not going to take the entire episode because I'm not going to be going and building like the world's most efficient squid spawner because, guys... They can get pretty big. <laughs> I didn't even know squid spawners were a thing, to be honest with you, until I watched a video on YouTube because I was looking, you know, I want to build a bunch of roads in this, but I don't know how I'm going to ever do it because how the heck am I going to, I'm going to have to hunt so many of these stupid squid because they're really, they're really kind of hard to hunt. Like, honestly, like they're kind of a pain in the butt if you're going to hunt them by hand. So I was like, yeah, I'd rather not do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to fill in all these little areas of river. Any area that's like two blocks in height, they can spawn. Um, so I'm just kind of having to fill in everything that I can. I may not have to fill it in if it's like this. I think they need like a two, two wide area to spawn, but I'm going to go ahead and just fill in this whole thing. All right, now I'm still just traveling along this riverbed, seeing if there's any other areas that I'm going to fill in. And honestly, I think the answer is no. Now, some of these things may be close enough to where it's going to affect our spawn rates, but I'm not so sure that it's going to affect them to a point where I'm going to want to come in here and, like, you know, fill in this entire area. But if we have to, this isn't, you know, super bad to have to fill in. It wouldn't take that long. Uh, that would maybe be, you know, something I do on a live stream. So if you want to ever know when I'm live streaming, I have a link to my official Discord server down in the top pinned comment from me in the comment section below. So I always pin a comment to the top with a link, an invite link to my Discord server. So click on that if you want to join that. And you can also give me suggestions in the hashtag suggestions channel. It's just called, it's just, I, I say the hashtag, but it just looks like that over in my Discord server. So if you have any ideas for me, Things you, want to, things you want to see me do on the Let's Play, anything like that, then that is going to be the best way to reach me is through the suggestions channel. So if you want to get your voice heard, your feedback heard, that's going to be your best bet. Okay, so building this, we need to make sure we never go outside of the river biome. So I'm trying to make sure... Okay, so this is all river right here. So I'm going to mark the edge of the river over here. Now we're going to have to find the same edge over here. So it looks like this is the last block of river. So what I'm going to do is just make a nice little marker for how far, how big we can make this thing. And uh, see, because I, I want it to be a square. So we're going to have to figure this out. So give me a bit. Well, this is actually proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, but so far, I have this little area marked out. It's just kind of tricky because the river biome sometimes is just kind of wonky. And like it's, it, it's hard to get a perfect square in here. But so far, I think I have most of it sort of figured out you can see the biome hasn't changed but then i think this is the wall that i determined was on this side that i couldn't go past so it's a bunch of really weird stuff but i think i'm honestly about to about to be done 
with figuring it out because I think, you know, I'm only going to have it go to like over here or something. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be where the actual squid farm is. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Uh, but also, if you notice that you're not subscribed and you've been watching every episode of this series, I really would encourage you to subscribe. I don't want you to miss any episodes in this series. Uh, but thank you guys for all the support on this series. It's been absolutely incredible. Now, for some reason, see, it says this is forest. Like, <laughs> it's like, I'm not really sure. It's kind of frustrating because it's like, I how can this be the forest if it's like in the middle of the river? But you know what? It's okay. So we're going to have to shave off one on this side just because I don't think it's going to work too well if that is not considered a river biome. So I'm going to go throughout this entire little square here. We're going to make sure all the corners are river. Uh... Yeah, it says river on everything, and we need to be up until layer 64. So this is going to be the top layer. So what we have to do now is dig this thing down to layer 42. Um, it's going to take quite a while, so please do leave a like, because I'm about to have to do a lot of grindy stuff here. I did bring some iron with me so that we won't be having to run back whenever our pickaxe breaks. Uh, but luckily, we should get a ton of extra materials. Um, that's what I am most excited about is being able to get a bunch of extra cobblestone because we're going to need just so much for all these future projects. But yeah, that's why I encourage you to subscribe. There's going to be a ton of really fun stuff I'm going to do on this Let's Play series. We're going to try to make a modern city. And uh, I would just hate for you guys to miss episodes when you never really intended to. Maybe you just forget. Always happens. Okay. Give me a bit. I'm going to start digging this thing out. Please, please leave a like for my efforts, guys. This is going to take, <laughs> take so long. All right, so everything is going pretty well so far. You can see I've dug all the dirt out of here. I've made a ton of extra tools and uh, basically just been digging this hole. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. That, that's why I asked for likes so early in the video. Usually, you know, I, I do something, you know, crazy before I ask for a like, but sometimes I just know some things are going to kill me. <laughs> so now I got it. So to give you an idea of how far I have to go down, let me go over here and we're going to dig down to layer 42. So this entire thing dug down this deep all the way down to right uh, right about there realistically about here so i gotta dig out all of this area oh man <laughs> that's gonna be fun guys <coughs> i've been digging for 16 days i need water but yeah, I've been digging for quite a while. <laughs> like, honestly, this thing is it's, it's just so much bigger than I thought it was. It's not even that big, right? But it's like the fifth episode, right? I should be going out getting diamonds, you know? But we're switching it up, guys. We're making a squid farm episode five. Nice. Guys, I, I gotta be straight with you. After doing all those MLG buckets just then, we gotta get Feather Falling 5 before we get anything. Now, I'm pretty sure there's Feather Falling 5. We're at day 34, so I've been digging for quite a while. I don't know what I was on when I started this, but you could go back and check the F3s when I was checking the biome. But I'm pretty sure I've been doing this for like four or five days. So it's been like almost an hour of just straight digging. We're at level 47, so we only have a little bit more to go. Remember, that's the hole that we dug so long ago. Looks like some cobblestone has fallen into it. Um, I did keep plugging it up with dirt, which was fun because I thought I was going to fall in there and die. Um, I actually ended up falling in there. I did not die, though, so we're okay. Uh, but we really got to get Feather Falling 5. But yeah, I'm going to get back to it. I'm almost done. Figured I'd give you a little bit of an update. Um, for now, we're just, you know, making iron ore staircases. Yes, iron ore staircases. But no, we're, we're just making this little area. We're going to put some water in it. Squid are going to fall, and all will be well. All right, guys. Well, I have completely finished the hole. It's all the way down to level 42. Uh, no, I'm not going to MLG bucket that height. That that would be problematic. But look, we're down to level 42. So basically what this column of water here is, is just to test to see if squids will spawn in columns of water. So you have to be 24 blocks away to see if it's going to spawn. So I'm just going to kind of run away for a second and then I'll come back and see if there's any squid in it. Because uh, if there's not even one squid in there, and by the way, we really got to be careful because I, I could easily fall in this. So we're just going to make sure and stay kind of far away from it. Or we'll use some of this giant amount of dirt and cobblestone that we got to, like, you know, build some of those 
hmm, what are they called? Walls. <laughs> so maybe we'll do that. Maybe that'd make things a little bit safer for us because I am paranoid. I don't want to lose the world on the fifth episode. That would be absolutely terrible. So we're going to go all the way around with this wall. Yes, it's probably a little bit, you know, you don't have to do it. Like, you really don't have to do it, but I have to do it, guys. I spent an hour digging this hole. So if you guys really could leave a like on the video, I really, really would appreciate it, guys. Um, and if you're not subscribed and you don't want to miss any future content, please do make sure you're subscribed. Because I've noticed recently that a lot of people are not subscribed. And I know literally every YouTuber says that, but it's true. Like, a lot of people who watch people regularly do not subscribe. So if you want to, if you want to be, you know, a part of the change, then please do hit the subscribe button, but you don't have to. Okay. So there's no way that we can fall in that unless we're just really, really trying hard. So I'm going to run away. Like, I don't know how far away. I just really want to unload that chunk and then reload it. So I might end up running quite a distance. So I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to run all the way over here. Then I will come back. And before I see it, I will start recording so we can find out together if it's working. All right, I have not checked it yet. Let's see if there's any squid. I just ran really far away, then I just ran back. So hopefully there's at least one in there. If there's not, then I'm not going to be convinced that this thing is working too well. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Okay, so maybe this doesn't work anymore. I found a couple of videos on YouTube. No, no tutorial I found was like super definitive on whether or not this still worked. So I really don't... I don't want to build this whole thing, right? And then, you know figure out that it doesn't work because that would just i don't know um, there's other ways we can do it though maybe i shouldn't have dug this giant hole before i found out if it works or not um i don't see i don't know i mean it looks okay but i mean nothing's spawning so i can't really say if i want to use this or not that's just risky i just need to stop doing stuff like that <laughs> i just i really do just need to stop doing stuff like that i don't know why i keep doing it okay it's just like it's just a habit at this point um okay so we can make them over here as well now if i make this thing one wider i could technically get a whole nother row in <sighs> honestly i mean i'm okay if it's not the fastest thing ever I, all my classes are online so i can just log into minecraft when i log into zoom and uh work while i work on school work <laughs> Because, you know, I consider playing Minecraft work in a way, right? Because I'm working towards a thing that's my job as I'm, like, you know, in Zoom classes or whatever. I don't know. Let me know. Is that work? I mean, I, I consider it work. Okay, so we're going to build this grid, but up here. And then we're going to put water buckets here. Now, I don't know. Did I make... No, I did not make an infinite water source. So before we do anything, we're going to make sure we always have water. Okay. Man, I'm really nervous that this thing doesn't work because I just made, I, I, you know, it took like an hour to dig this hole, something like that. Maybe a little bit shorter. We're all the way on day what now? Uh, day 35. And I think we were on day, we were not on day 35 when we started this. We were on like, I don't even remember what day. But we're on 35 and man, <laughs> it took a lot. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, which I'm not sure how I got that part wrong, but I don't know. I underestimated it. Okay, so I think... Oh, there's another one. There's a whole other row right here. Ah, okay. So we need just two more buckets. Alright, let's see. Will this thing work? And of course, I know it's a little bit different. Like, down below, we have to add some fence gates and then an area for the squid to fall below that. Uh, but this is like the basic design of it, like the basic shape. So, I'm going to sleep run away and then i'll come back before i check and we'll find out together if it's working so i'm literally just running i don't i don't even know in what direction uh but i'm about to head right back but i'm i feel i feel like if i run away and then i come back enough times then maybe it'll work <laughs> but maybe that's a maybe that's a naive assumption because i don't even know if this spawner mechanic still works all the videos i found were a little bit older uh, maybe i didn't look for long enough Ugh, that's just scary Let's see what's up on this hill, and then I'll meet you guys back at the spawner. I, I, I won't make you watch me running around anymore. Ooh, there's a lot of animals over here. Ooh, I could see maybe bringing the city out over in this direction. I really don't know. I don't have any, you know, definite plans. Okay, so we, it looks like we're going to the ocean. So the spawner is over there in that corner right there. So it's like that far away. So hopefully this was far enough to travel away. Okay, I'll meet you guys back there. 
All right, guys, so we're almost back, and to be honest with you, I really need to get Feather Falling going really soon. So my hope is that this thing works so well, we can use it like an XP farm, at least for, for right now, in the beginning of the game. <gasps> Woo! Okay, guys, we got lots of squid here. Um, Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That is a decent bit of squid. Wow, and they're dying. Look at that ink sacks, ink sacks, ink sacks. And this thing isn't even done. This 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 thing isn't even done, guys. I don't think you understand how ecstatic I am. I was so worried that wasn't going to work. Okay, so now what I've got to do is a few things, right? I can't obviously leave the dirt like this. I can't leave this little path like this. And I also, there's no possible way I can leave the bottom like that. We're going to be putting some fence gates on the bottom um, as well as up here. So what I'm going to do between now and when you see me next is I'm going to put stuff like this. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We cannot have the water up here right now, actually. Yeah, disregard that statement. I am going to take all the water out, and then I'm basically going to surround these little areas with, uh, what are they called? Fence gates. <laughs> so just basically like this, and then I just have to open them. I don't know. You, get, you guys understand what I'm doing, right? I'm just making little areas for the water, so I'll do that and come back. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've almost fallen in one of these holes like four times now, and I really haven't done that much since you guys saw it last. And it's also not going to be like the most perfect thing. It's not going to be like super pretty and super beautiful. It's going to look pretty uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> we'll say that. I'm not going to be able to accomplish building this thing too well. So I'm sorry if it doesn't turn out as aesthetically pleasing as some other, I'm sure, squid farms have gone. But there's just no way I can realistically do that. All right, guys. Now I'm super confused because <laughs> like... I, I, I broke all the dirt now, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I, first of all, I can't walk across this thing, so I'm on the corner. I'm on the edge here. And also, I don't know where I'm supposed to put the water. <laughs> like, I built this thing all the way up, and now I'm like, oh, okay. Wow, okay, we got to open that. That way it's not technically there anymore when it's open. Um, so let's go over on the side here, and we can identify where I think this would be it. And it's two blocks off the edge. So the first one I know for a fact is going to be right here off the edge and then from this one i'm pretty sure i can figure out where the rest of them are and then place it place the water from below me um so let me just fill this in and then i think since this one is it we're gonna put one block space and there's only six and there's eight holes okay this is like the worst <laughs> most dangerous parkour i've ever done because if i fall i'll lose my world it's like that's not that's not a healthy way to parkour guys let me tell you but I figured I'd film right now because if my finger if my finger slips off the shift key, which I almost died there, and that wouldn't have been my fault. I mean, honestly, that would not have been my fault. I mean, it would have technically been my fault, but I would have been like, that's not my fault. That's not my fault. And I, and I would have said that a bunch of times. And it totally would have been. But um, Okay, so now all we have to do is go below this, like like this or something, and then we have to put all the water in. So this is another risky part. So what I mean is put the water like right there and then that's going to fall. And then I got to do that on all the rest of these and do it without falling. <laughs> so I'll film and if I deem this too boring to put in the video, you know, I'll cut it out or something because I'm sure it's not going to take me super long. All right, guys, I got the last two to place. I didn't film it because I was like, I'm probably not going to die, honestly. Um, okay, so this is pretty much done now. The only step is to remove the staircase um, after I finish the bottom because uh, the bottom of this thing is not done yet. We need to build an area. Ironically, we have to dig out even more, but only, only like a three tall area um, just so that the squid have an area to kind of fall into. Uh, but before I do that, I got to do another fun thing. Okay, so we got to stop the we gotta stop these little blocks from falling here. So now I've got to, <laughs> you guessed it, put a bunch more fence gates down here. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to put them all facing the same direction. I think that's why it looks so tricky when I did it above because they were all facing uh, just a just a whole, a whole variety of different directions. I was trying to think of the word, but <sighs> whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. All right. So all the fence gates are placed, I think. And now I'm going to dig out this whole area here. Uh, I'm trying to find out if this actually works. Okay. Okay, so it's holding the water, you know, as far as I can tell. Um, do my eyes deceive me? Possibly. You never know. But I'm going to go down below these things now, and I'm just going to put a fence gate. Because uh, that, that's what I think the next step is, I assume. Uh, just to hold the water there. 
So we're going to see if we can just like, I don't know, dig under it like this and then just like put a fence gate and then open it. And I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do, right? And I can just kind of take out this three level area. Maybe we're going to make it four level area um, throughout the whole thing. Now, is it getting dark? Ah, I really can't tell. Is it? I think so. So let's go up here. Maybe this will work. Maybe. Can I? Oh, yeah. We're just fine. And yes, it is getting dark. Good. See, I, I, got, I got that good Minecraft sense. You know, playing the game for 11 years allows me to look up and, you know, identify. Is it day? Is it night? Oh, it's kind of depressing. All right, so I'm just falling down to the bottom, which is actually kind of fun to do. And I, I can safely say I have never built a squid farm before. So I'm going to try to build every kind of farm that we can. Um, I want to do like a gold farm. That's one of the biggest ones I want to do. And I really want to try to make a wither skeleton farm. Um, now, I know that like a wither skeleton farm can be very difficult to make just because you got to like cover up the entire area. Um, like the entire spawn area, like blocking off everything. So it can be kind of difficult to make, but like this squid farm is a good beginner farm to make. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily good for XP, probably not. Uh, but at least for doing what we're doing now, trying to get black dye, this is more than perfect. So I'll cover the bottom area with when we get enough iron hoppers so we can do an iron farm as well. Uh, but yeah, let me dig out this area. I should be done pretty soon. And when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. Wow, guys. <laughs> well, as I'm building this thing, a squid just just catapulted towards my head. I don't think that's the right word. It just it fell very quickly right towards my head. And thankfully, I wasn't below the squid where I wouldn't be talking right now. So I'm thinking this thing's going to work pretty well. I don't know how fast it's really going to work Like once I get it all built. Um, now, I could probably make this thing a little bit bigger. This little squid farm, I could probably put another row of them over here. Uh, but then I got to dig out this area. Once we get an efficiency five pickaxe, if we're still needing for um, squid ink that bad, then we can do this. Uh, but otherwise, guys, I think we're going to get enough ink sacks of this. I guess it's not squid ink. It would be ink sacks. It's technically squid ink is within the sack, but you know, whatever. Man, so many squids have been falling now. And like this, the, more than three fourths of this farm is not functioning because I'm so close to it. Uh, so once I'm like 24 blocks away, then it will work a lot better. So only like the top one block is working on this farm right now. So I promise you guys, once I get kind of far away from this thing, it's going to produce squid at a really, really quick rate. Now, unfortunately, the only way I can look at it is if I build way above it. Um, oh, there's another one. Um, if I build way above this farm, then I can show you from above. Uh, but otherwise, it's not really going to work. Uh, you know, I can't show you what's going on inside of it because when I stand at the top, it really does make most of it not work. I don't know why squid uh, have that sort of spawning rule, but they're kind of weird like that. Um, but yeah, give me a moment. I'm going to have to... I can remove most of this now. I don't really need the staircase because, you know, I have this water stream. So I guess when we're going back up for the final time, we'll just put like a water bucket in the corner of this place and we'll use that to get up and down. All right, the bottom is cleared out, and let's just go up a little bit. Now, I got to be careful because if I mess up these water streams, uh, there, there'll be no fixing them. Wow, did I just mess up the water stream? I really hope I didn't just mess up the water stream. I might be very upset if I did that. I don't think I did. I think we're okay. Right, please tell me we're okay. And... Okay, come on, water. All right, are, are we all good? Yeah, okay, looks good to me. So I'm going to break this staircase on my way up. And then once I am up at the top, I'll show you what this thing looks like. Because it should look... Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I want to give myself a heart attack doing that. I, I got to stop. <laughs> okay. Let's put this here. And can we grab the... There we go. And then let's just go all... Okay. Jeez, dude. That made my heart hurt. I was like, I was like, for sure we're dead now. Okay, we gotta eat because if we even take a small little tumble, and we don't have enough, you know, food in us. Our hearts aren't gonna regen. We just gotta do this very carefully. Okay, very carefully. All right, we're gonna break the last block, and there we go. So I guess I'll do this now, just because I'm gonna want to see it as well. Um, and I'll probably take a couple of thumbnails when I'm up here. So I'm just gonna build a really tall pillar up. And then we can adjust the angle once we get up there. But we can see how well this thing will really work. Now, uh, we want to build up to, like, probably, I don't know exactly how tall, but probably something, like, around right here or so. 
And then this is where you'd actually want to set if this thing was going to be working. But if we look down in there, you can already see a couple of squid spawning. Uh, now, I don't know how quickly this thing really works. I mean, I, I, I genuinely have never built anything like this at all. Uh, but I'm going to sit here and we can just kind of, you know, catch a nice angle on it. And that's basically how I'm going to get the thumbnail. You guys are always like, Neo, how do, how do you get these thumbnails? And I'm like, dude, let me tell you, <laughs> I spend way too much time trying to get these thumbnails. So I really love that you ask me that because I don't get to tell, you know, anyone about my thumbnails. You know, who, who wants to hear about my thumbnails? The answer is no one. Lauren's like, hey, <laughs> she has to hear all about them when I stress about, it. is this one good? Do you like this one better? <laughs> I have to ask all the time. I'm confused because there's a fish in there. Do you see that? Do you see that little red thing squirming its tail? Is that a fish? Because there's not supposed to be able to fish. You're not supposed to be able to spawn in this thing. Like that. That's like the big thing about these is like fish should not be able to spawn in them. Now, can I fall on this and not die? Yes. Yeah, so what is that? That is a fish. That is not okay. That's not supposed to happen, dude. Oh, man. Did I build this farm wrong? Okay, I got to go watch that YouTube video again. I think I built this farm wrong. And that's going to be very disappointing <laughs> if I built this whole thing wrong. I'm like, oh, this dude, this FOV is like, ugh. All right, I'm almost to the top of this. Okay. Okay. Is it going to be night soon? No. Okay, we're okay. Yeah, I'm confused. There's not supposed to be able to be anything but squid spawning in it. Is that a drowned? No, dude, that really is. Look, look at that. I'm going to put the FOV down here. That really is a fish. Look. We got a fish in our spawner. That is not supposed to happen. I did something wrong, and I'm not so sure what I did. Um, because, yeah, fish are not supposed to spawn. Only supposed to be the squid. And they seem to be sp Oh, man, yeah, the fish are going crazy. Wow, we're getting a lot of fish spawns. We're getting a lot of fish spawns, and they definitely do not swim outside of the outside of the bounds of this thing. I mean, look, they're just going straight in. But hey, I mean, the plus side is we're getting tons of... Hey, can I make this jump? I honestly forget. I'm going to go back to my normal FOV because that's just driving me crazy. Yeah, I can make it. Um, I really shouldn't risk stuff like that. Like the, <laughs> There was water right there. But yeah, as for how I'm going to like get up and down from here, I honestly think I'm just going to like you know, do something like this. This is pretty easy, but look how many... Look, we have 17 ink sacks so far. Let's see how many we get when we run around here for a second. So what do we have? Se 14, 17, something like that. We got 41 now. And that was just like not even collecting them automatically or, you know, with this thing even working right. Because uh, technically you don't, you don't want fish to spawn. Uh, they mess up your spawn rates. So we're going to have to try something else um, as far as that goes. Now, I don't know how to do it, but we'll figure it out together, guys. We really will. Okay, I got it. There we go. Can I make this work? The answer is maybe. I don't. I don't know how that would work. Well, wait, maybe because it's about to be night, and right, and like I don't. I, I don't want to deal with that. If I put a water right here. Okay. Wow, that's not what I meant to do. You know what? It'll work for now. It'll work for now. We gotta sleep, and then I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and see if I can improve this design real quick. All right, so I just finished watching the video. It turns out it's Il Mango's uh, design. I think that's how you say it. So I think that I can make this thing work. The only problem being uh, with something that I can easily fix, and that's just the fact that salmon can spawn if uh, you're within a 100 and sorry, if you're within like 32 blocks, but they can't spawn if you're like 64 blocks away so he said to go up to layer 128 to afk and you also shouldn't build anything above the spawn platform so i'm gonna make it all the way back up here and then we'll we'll just take care of this thing a little bit and we're gonna make sure that the platform goes up to level 128 i'm going to oh, i can't really make any ladders yet so let's just hop off of this for a second yeah just just almost die too <laughs> guys we really got to get feather falling i'm serious i can't i cannot keep going on like this like we are gonna lose this this world for sure if i do not get feather falling so please please remind me in my discord server to get feather falling so if you want to join my discord server you can put that reminder in my suggestions channel i don't remember if i talked about my discord server or not in in this video but it's in the top pinned comment down below and i have a suggestions channel on there i read everything you guys put in there that's where i get inspiration and ideas for my future episodes so if you want to make sure your voice is heard and fun stuff like that, then please do hit the subscribe. What am I saying? Just join the Discord server if you want. 
there's an invite link. If you don't want to, don't join it. It's all good. What, whatever you want to do, guys. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to build this all the way to the top. Give me one second. All right, so I had to pretty much double the length of this thing. Um, and now I won't be able to see the squid, but I think they're technically still spawn. Okay, you can see the squid, but there's no more salmon. So this thing works really, really well. Now, I don't have enough hoppers, unfortunately, to do anything with this thing. Yeah, actually, actually, I have a really good idea. I may not need that many hoppers for it, but we're going to have to try something kind of risky here. So I came back on camera. Uh, obviously, my ladder only went up to as tall as I was building it before. And now I got to I gotta do something crazy. So I'm going to have this in my hand in case I mess up. No, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. I seriously thought that I was going to die. So <laughs> I just want to make sure if I'm going to do something kind of stupid, um, it's not that, you know, I'm trying to risk the world and I'm playing careless. I mean, yeah, technically I'm playing careless, <laughs> I guess. But ah, whatever, guys. Whatever. It's all good. So I just can't build above this thing. So I don't know exactly where above, of, above it is um maybe like right here is above it I, I don't know so somewhere around here is where i'm gonna want to sit and again this is just if i want to sit up here and just have spawns happen when i am not up here uh, like if i'm in a zoom class or anything like that then this is going to be the way that i can accomplish that now i'm going to put a large fence around this thing because again guys i'm just not I'm not, <laughs> I'm not too confident in my ability to not fall and lose this world. So we're just going to do our best. We're going to get feather falling ASAP. And then for now, we'll just build a nice little area to hang out on. So we'll dig out the area under this thing. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab some things. And we're going to see if this will work. Now, what I'm thinking of, and first of all, is this thing working? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> is it working? <laughs> yeah <laughs> look at it though they all these squid, i feel so bad i used to save the squid and now i'm literally just having them drown at the bottom of a hole and then i'm gonna farm their ink sacks and make them into roads <laughs> dude that's messed up man i'm gonna make them into roads <sighs> what's happened to me all right guys so my idea is to create something hold on First of all, I'm going to put this here just so I have a way to get up and down. <gasps> okay. Just so I have a way to get up and down, I'm just going to build this here. And I'm just going to dig this to the bottom. And then I'll just put a water bucket here. I don't, I don't even know where the bottom is, but I have somewhat of an idea. Maybe like 38. So give me a second. All right. So I guess 38. Let's see. Is this the right? Ah, okay. It was 39. Wow. There's a lot of ink sacks down here. Okay. So we have 64 and 13. Now we have over two stacks oh my gosh okay so i wasn't expecting this thing to actually work this well uh, usually when i build something for the first time it's you know got some bugs and stuff uh, oh oh sorry i was gonna come back and say well i gotta run back to the house because i don't have enough stuff to make one hopper uh, but no i actually do because we mined iron digging out this giant hole so we're gonna put this in here i mean we don't really have any coal so we'll put that in there um, but yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed and you want to see more crazy videos like this, I will never say that again, by the way, I will never describe my videos as crazy again, if you subscribe, but if you don't, I'm going to know and I'm going to call them crazy every single time. All right. <laughs> Anyways. So I think what I'm going to do at the bottom is funnel them all into one small hole. And then we're just going to put a hopper in that. I think, I think that's going to work. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, let me just wait on this stuff to smell. How many do we need? Five? No. Well, we already have four in our inventory, so I don't know what I'm waiting on. So we're going to make a chest, and then you guys you guys know how this goes. Okay, we're going to need another chest. Ah, we'll make it a double chest. Okay. So we got a double chest. We're going to make a hopper. We may end up, you know, if we need more room, adding another double chest or something, but I doubt we're ever going to have that much just stocked up. Uh, sure. Can I close it while I'm still on the other side? There we go. Okay, so now I don't really know how this is going to work. I guess maybe like a mob spawner kind of does, you know, something like that. Oh, yeah, that actually could work pretty well. Yeah, exactly like how. Oh, man, <laughs> I only have two iron. Okay, hold on. I have like four stacks of iron back at the house. Um, oh, <laughs> I guess there's iron right there as well. Okay, you know what, guys? Just, just, just don't say anything, okay? Sometimes I, when I'm recording, guys, I'm like, you know, in extreme tunnel vision because I have to focus very hard on not dying and also, you know, thinking of things to say that don't make you want to leave the video. 
Um, so, okay. We're going to try to make this kind of like how a dungeon works. A dungeon spawner, that is. Thank you, zombie, for that well-timed scream. Very much appreciate it. So, I don't know if they're going to fall in a hole that's one wide. I genuinely have I have no idea. Are they? Maybe. Are they not? I don't know. So, we're just going to we're gonna try this. We're going to open these. And then we're just going to put water over here. Now, is this water long enough? Oh, come on, dude. Why you got to be like that, water? That's nah, all right. I have I have the solution. Um, I think we're just going to do this. And then this means we don't even need this. Dude, is there a dungeon down here? Are you serious? Guys, I got... I got to know. If there's a dungeon down here, I got to know. Where, please tell me there's a dungeon down here. Please. I really want... Oh, my gosh. Where is this thing? Is it over here? Dude, I feel like they're very close to me, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. All right. I'll take it. Oh, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I don't mind, you know, my first emerald. Oh, okay. So there's a big mine shaft down here. But hey, that gives us a nice new area to mine at in tomorrow's episode. So I'm not going to spoil that too much. Oh, it's becoming dark. Oh, it's becoming dark. We got to get out of here. We have a ladder, though. We have a ladder. Okay. I'll meet you guys back down there. But yeah, that's definitely where we're going to be mining in tomorrow's video. So please, if you don't want to miss that, make sure you're subscribed so that you would get and turn on notifications too. But if you really just want notifications, I highly recommend joining my Discord server because I don't know. I don't know, guys. Do what you want. I know I've been asking you guys a lot more to do a lot more things, but I realize as a creator, if I want to grow and uh, get this community to be even bigger than it already is, uh, that's going to be the best way to go about it. So I'm sorry if it annoys some of you, but it's just that's it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. I'll be honest. We, we, we got to keep it going, guys. OK, so what I'm going to do is. That's a good question. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I forget what I was going to do, but I'm going to wait for this iron to smell. You know, we, we can use that in tomorrow's mining episode. But for right now, I'm going to go down here and we're going to make a nice hopper. Thingy. I, I really don't know how to describe it. But, you know, if salmon spawn, it's really not the end of the world. Uh, honestly, I, I'd be okay with them spawning. Do they die when they get outside of water? Because I really don't know the answer to that. If they do, then this will work on them. If they don't, it won't work. But honestly, I, I'm not really too concerned about the salmon. We don't really need them. Uh, yeah, we'll just... No, we can't put that there. We can't put that there. Who am I kidding? We gotta put that. We'll be able to find the mine shaft again, I think. If 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 I dig this down over here, hold on. Just just so I can find the mine shaft. And then just dig straight over here. And then we should be at that area. Or somewhere near it. Okay, perfect. Uh let me just dip, put the ladder here. That way we can get down to our mining area as well as this area. Okay. Nice. So what I was gonna do. Oh no, I can't. Hold on. I was going to put water over on this side here. And then now the squid are going to be forced eventually to come over here. Wait, can they swim in the water really well? Or will they eventually make it over here? Okay, so eventually they'll make it over here. And then eventually they'll hit these things. Um, right here. And then they will just kind of fall into a hole. A collection hole. Um, just like down here or something. And then I only made one hopper, but now that I think about it, I'm probably going to need more than one hopper. So we're going to go back up here. I'm going to see if I can get enough for four hoppers. I might have to go mining a tiny bit. Again, I want to save that for next episode. But if I can find a pocket of iron right around here, just, you know, a nice little opportunistic mining session, then I will be very happy. Uh, but otherwise, I won't do too much exploring. Oh, come on. Okay, I got I to gotta do a little bit of exploring here. Okay. Don't like skeletons. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Because this should give me enough to make four. I'm just going to need 20 iron in total. Now, I know we have some up there still. But wow, this is a double pocket of iron for sure. 
or it's on the edge of two chunks. That's what someone told me in the comments, because I do try to read all the comments, guys, but there's so many of you now, and like, there's so many amazing things you guys say in the comments, but I can't see everything anymore, and it makes me kind of sad. Like, I wish I could, but I'm also happy that I've been growing a lot, because I've been doing YouTube for eight years, almost nine years of YouTube, uh, so you know, it's been quite a while. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so they do fall in the hole. That's good. Let me go up here and smelt this and then make four hoppers. All right, I actually <clears throat> dug myself or built myself a little hut while I sat here AFK. And it uh, looks like this stuff is all smelted as expected. Now, I'm going to need, I guess, uh, I guess I'll need a little bit more wood. So we'll just make one more chest because if we're going to do five hoppers, we're going to have this. You know, we'll just go with... Sure, we're going to make as many hoppers as we can. Uh, and we'll just put these right here. Okay, so we'll have six hoppers, which means we can expand this thing a little bit if we want. Okay, let's head down here. Let's automate this thing. And then we should be good to just AFK here whenever we need a little bit of whatever. Now, the salmon, mind you, will not spawn here anymore, uh, especially once I'm above a certain height. They just, li they, they just literally can't spawn. Um, I think I'm going to put... See, this ladder goes over to here, right? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to put four hoppers up there, and we're just going to put a double chest, like, right here. And then we'll build this up and over a little bit. Okay. And then we'll just put the hoppers into it right there, and then right there. So, right now, we have nothing in that chest whatsoever, so I am going to fill this in. Let's just see if the... Let's see how the, the squid behave in here. Because they can kind of swim around, but like they swim around randomly enough to where I think eventually they're going to go off that and just end up in here. But who knows? This may not be the most efficient way to do it. I'm sure if I put a bunch of hoppers down here, you know, it would be more efficient if I, again, like I said, just had this instead of water. It's just hoppers. Honestly, it's okay. <laughs> It's not, it doesn't need to be 100% efficiency, but thank you guys so much for watching episode 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The secret code for today's episode, if you want to put it down in the comments and be a part of the secret code club and confuse new people, secret code is going to be, we'll just randomly, 2507. So put that down in the comments below to show that you watched the entirety of this automatic squid farm video. Again, that is 2507. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't left a like and you really do enjoy these episodes and you want to encourage me to make more, leaving a like on the video and putting a nice comment is always the best way to get my attention and to be sure that I keep on creating awesome content for you guys. So what I'm going to do now is just hang out here for a bit and then I'll go back down below. We'll check to make sure this thing is working. And uh, if it's working and ah oh, man, <laughs> it looks like it's becoming night. So I'll, I'll do that and then I'll go up there and hang out for a bit and then I will come back and we will find out together if the thing works very well or not. See you then. You know what, guys? I'm going to give you a little bit of a bonus video here. Um, this isn't actually a bonus video, uh, but this is going to be a little bonus part of the video. <laughs> so not a separate bonus video, no, but a part of the video that's bonus. I don't know why I can't speak, but I was going to make a little tiny modern house here uh, just because this is like the little perfect area for it. And honestly, I can't see a reason why, you know, we're already at 42 minutes. So if you've watched me up until this point, you probably don't care if I add a little bit of modern nativity to my uh, area over here. So we'll leave that like that. That's fine. Oh, we have another ladder. Might as well. Um, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds hoarse. I've been recording for quite a while now. So my voice just, you know, there comes to be a point where it's just like, I don't even know. It just starts to get, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, give me a second. We're going to see if we can make this thing work. I'm trying to think right now how this thing is going to look. And so far in my head, it looks like, uh, wow. Okay, this is not what I had in mind. You know what? But for being a little mini build, maybe it's not all that bad. We'll see how this thing looks, though. Uh, yeah, maybe something like this. And then one hanging off the back, of course. And then if we had a little bit of iron, which we do, we can just put the... Oh, we already have shears. We already have shears. Shears present. So shears present. Okay. And then we're going to you know shave off a little bit of a tree over here. Uh, maybe next to this beehive. Okay, that way we have a little bit, of, you know, just, just a little bit of bushes here. 
Um, and then we're just going to put some on the back of the build, you know, just, just so it looks nice and modern, okay? Um, there we go. Sure, something like that. And then the front of it needs to be like all glass, but we don't have any glass. So <laughs> we'll just leave the front of it open, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not like a super serious build, so I don't really think it matters what we do. Uh, but just to have a little something out here, you know, because it feels like this place out here, we don't really have a whole lot. And uh, maybe a nice little modern, little modern something can make this place feel a little bit more like home. Now, how can we put a door on this thing because it's so small? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't really know, but we're going to try it. We're going to put a door right here. And then this, of course, is going to be the wall. Now, what is the wall material going to be made of? Cobblestone for sure. And then we can have a nice window right here. And that's that's all the room for a window. We actually, nah, we can put it. We can put a window right here, guys. A nice little mini modern house, you know. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to have a window right there. Do we have any sand with us? And also another little trick: take some stairs that are upside down, place your door from the inside always, and then put an upside down stair. So much more depth. Um, okay, let me go get some sand real quick. I'm sure. No, I have some. I know I have some. Hold on. Is it in my, is it, nah, I don't actually have it. Hold on. Let me go get some. I know there's some somewhere along this little riverbed. All right. Got enough sand here. Well, you know what? We'll get a little bit of clay. Make a little pot. Could be nice. I always need a flower to put in that. Because uh, we don't have any saplings or anything. And I think a flower would be quicker to find. Those are some double sized flowers. Maybe we could use those. I wish you could put them in pots. You know, it could just like have the size of the texture. Because they already changed the texture of what goes in the pot anyway. So I'm not sure why they don't add those double-sized. Could just give some nice variety or something. Sure. You know what? Not my favorite. I think they used to be called red flowers and yellow flowers. It still blew my mind when they changed the name to like red poppy. I was like, no, this is the red flower. It is not a red poppy. What is that? Because I don't know why, you know, after all that time, why did they decide to change it? Who knows? Sorry, it was just really bugging me this area right here. I really had to had to go ahead and just level it out a little bit because I want this area to feel like home. Even though it's not home, I just want it to feel like, you know, that modern home that we have. And now <laughs> we just walk in where the window will be eventually. And then we're going to make another furnace, actually, because we're going to have to use this little hut for mining, probably, uh, you know, maybe. And, uh, you know, I, I want this place to feel nice. So we're going to put a little bit of shelving to hold this furnace. There we go. So everything is, you know, fitting in here quite nicely. <laughs> quite nicely, right? It just looks so small. Anyways, we're going to go way up there. And I'm going to AFK and see if this thing works. But I need to finish this first. Hold on. Hold on. Is it glass done? Is it glass done? No. Okay. We got to put this stuff up too. Our inventory is just chocked full of junk. We don't need all these ink sacks. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll keep those with us. We shouldn't need any more of this stuff, though. All right, let's put the finishing touches on the house. Why I spent so long on this, I don't know. But you know what? It feels good because it looks nice somewhat. I think, you know what? I actually kind of like that. You know what? That's modern enough for me. Okay, now, do we have an area to put a pot? <laughs> I don't actually think we do. We could maybe put a stair like right there and then put a pot there. But like, why, why make it so cramped in here? It's already cramped. So I guess that's the reason why. Okay. So now this thing is completely done. Uh, we, you know what? We can make this thing even more compact as well. And I know you guys are like, dude, please. I just want to see if this squid thing works or not. You're just sitting here. You're just going crazy on the build. Trust me. It, it, <laughs> I understand. Now, that's not the best looking it's not that's not ideal because I guess the bed could go in another area hmm can the bed go in another area though that's actually that's actually the more important question I think the answer is yes but I don't know where to put it so maybe we'll just put it in the floor because at this point it just 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 why not <laughs> sure it, it, it'll just fit in the floor for now if we ever want to change it you know we, we can go ahead and change no we can go ahead and change it but for right now it's just gonna sit in the floor Okay, so now we have this extra chest room up here. That's the only reason I did that. Um, okay, let me go back up. I'm going to AFK for a bit, and then we'll find out together if this thing works or not. 
The answer is no, it does not work. And there's a simple reason. Mob AI does not work when you're this far away. <laughs> and we're like really far away. So mob AI just does not function. So what that means for us is that we are going to have to remove all that we did. And uh, we're going to have to wait and finish the squid farm in tomorrow's episode because I don't have enough iron to do all these hoppers. And I am, I'm, I'm going to promise you we're going to get more than enough iron. So, yeah, it kind of sucks that we figured it out like that. But you know what? That's just the, that's the way you discover new things, right? Although this isn't something to really discover. <laughs> A lot of you guys are probably like, eh, maybe, maybe that's not going to work. Uh, can you, can you, sir, please? I don't want to, actually, you know what? I, I don't care if I can. Will you just, please? Jeez, why does it take so long? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Put the secret code down in the comments. Where's the secret code? Ah, oh, that's right. I re-logged. I made a backup of the world. Oh man. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I don't remember what the secret code was, but you could go back and find it. I think it was like 2507, maybe? I don't know, but I also need to get some more. I also need to get some cobblestone to fill in here. Anyways, I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. We're going to go mining. See you then. Bye.